what's up guys how are you doing so welcome to my channel so guys uh today we'll be talking about uh why uh should like african american live and invest in kenya rather than any other african country so uh let's talk about kenya so uh kenya is a country that is located in east africa uh in general and it's famous for its diverse culture uh, the landscape, uh, the welcoming people, and actually the good climate that you can see around the country. The golden question should be uh, why is it uh, or what is it for the foreigners living in Kenya? So well, uh, stick till the end because we'll be answering this question and among other questions that are still in your mind and you haven't uttered them yet. So Kenya is a popular uh, destination for the many expatriates. You know. uh, this is its uh, favorable climate the affordable uh, amenities, uh, uh, the modern amenities. The cost of living for the many expatriates uh, is affordable uh, for both the uh, locals and the foreign investors or the experts, and also due to its modern facility. So um, Nairobi, uh, which is the capital city of Kenya, is a good place for the expert, experts or the expatriates to live and stay and invest to do their business. Yeah, uh, it's because let's talk about like uh, Gigiri, Nairobi. You know, Gigiri, Nairobi is one of the uh, places uh, in Nairobi uh, where the experts live and work. We have the UN headquarters in this place called Gigiri, Nairobi, uh, without forgetting. Uh, the shopping center like the two uh not the two rivers mall but um village market you will find many of the shops uh, uh hotel and restaurants uh the foreigners actually like likes to drink and uh sit and have a meeting there kenya has uh many international schools like brookside uh brookhurst uh, Cambridge and Banda School, which actually many of uh, uh, foreign uh, students or kids study. This is Hillcrest International School, located in the heart of Karen. As you can see, uh, this is one of the international schools that are found within the country of Kenya, among others so uh, kenya is not only a place to live but uh, actually it's a hub for innovation and technology many tech firms are actually uh, put their uh, infrastructure or their offices in kenya let's talk about google microsoft coca-cola it so has its business booming uh, we have business a uh, booming businesses for uh, foreigners which are actually uh, doing well in Kenya. So uh, Kenya provides that uh, humble entrepreneurship environment for business or ideas for uh, foreign uh, or the experts uh, actually to thrive. So let's not forget about Kenya, uh, which is, uh, it has like amazing like tourist attraction or popular sites to visit it has that uh, natural wildlife amazing nature to actually explore when you're not doing your work when you're off you can go and visit the amazing uh, facilities so uh, let's talk about the amazing wildlife from the Masai Mara uh, to the beautiful beaches in Mombasa uh, with a dynamic of amazing temperature that actually attracts foreigners to come. Also, uh, Kenya 
Also, Kenya is home to the most iconic wildlife. Let's talk about the big five. Actually, they are found in Kenya, the wild beast migration, which also usually take place in Kenya. Also, the scenic landscape that you have to see, like the beautiful Mount Kenya, which actually uh, of recent, uh, it's like a uh, Liverpool team, they have um, actually shown interest of coming and climbing to uh, like a part of the exercise when they're in the holiday. <laughs> So uh, the golden question is, why should Americans choose to live and work in Kenya and not other African countries? Well, relax, because I'm going to answer that question right now. I'll be looking down. Don't forget, I'll be looking down because I've done my research uh, and I've written points, so I'll be referring to the points now and then. So when you see me look, uh, looking down, so I uh, just understand that I'm uh, doing the reference. So uh, Kenya as a state has a favorable investment policies that attract foreigners in Kenya. They have policies that have been passed, like uh, the, we have the, like the EPZs. So uh, these are foreigners, like these investment, they should actually like uh, in betterment of Africa or in betterment of Kenya. So if you're thinking of coming and investing in Kenya, then come because we have a favorable environment for you. For close to 10 years now, Kenya has been eyeing to set up a one-stop information center to provide investors with all investment requirements in the country. The idea came into fruition mid last year following a directive by President Uhuru Kenyatta to expedite the process. Kenya is following in the footsteps of Rwanda, which became the first country in the region to roll out an investment center. Today, the government has relaunched their investment shop offering investors access to various public services. So also the country has a pro-business pro business government uh, relationship where actually uh, even some of the government uh, institutions are in partnership with the foreigners or not in the foreigners but in the business government uh, provide incentives to some of the foreigners companies uh, doing business or operating in Kenya. Kenya uh, in the recent past has been experiencing a growing economy. Uh, let's say uh, just because of uh, the Ukraine thing, uh, economy is bad, but definitely uh, all the African countries or even the world is experiencing inflation, is experiencing uh, shortage of food uh, or supply, but this should not like deter uh, investors to come. So Kenya, uh, the labor, you know, Kenya has a um, larger population, like large percentage of uh, young and energetic youth who will provide labor, manpower, who will be engineers, who will be uh, workers, who will be drivers, who will be like any let, let's mention any any person like any crucial manpower uh, needed for your business to prosper the kenyans will be there to provide for you so let's talk about infrastructure so in recent past like in the recent years kenya has done an amazing and tremendous work in terms of infrastructure and let's talk about the uh, roads you know Kenya has recently completed the uh, 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 construction of the Nairobi Expressway. The, we have the thicker superhighway, the Mombasa, Nairobi Mombasa Road, which actually facilitates faster movement of goods over the Nairobi City, which is a, a superhighway that actually facilitates faster uh, movement of goods, faster movement of people faster movement of raw material to the industry you know yeah they have provided uh, government has built the EP, EP, 
EPZ, like the export processing zone. So these are like our government have like done incentive for those companies that will be are doing their business in that EPZ. There is a standard gauge rail railway line. You know, the government uh, built the standard gauge rail from Mombasa, which is the fastest movement, uh, less traffic, uh, less chances of your goods like uh, getting or destroyed or going bad in the road. You know, government has also renovated the uh, Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. Kenya is diversifying its economy. Let's talk about uh, from uh, um, uh, like focusing on manufacturing. Yeah. So Kenya is putting more emphasis for those who think of uh, going to uh, like the manufacturing business in the country. Yeah. It's also improving agriculture. Put incentive for those people doing farming. Kenya is also focusing on renewable energy to uh, minimize global warming. So if you have all the projects that can actually help to uh, uh, minimize the amount of carbon for oxide rem uh, like emitted to the like emitted to the environment, you know, you're just most welcome. So investors, let's invest in schools. So let's talk about the American companies that are actually operating in Kenya and they are doing very well, you know. Let's talk about Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola is one of the, okay, like it's, I know it's everywhere in the, in the world, except maybe Cuba and Korea, but uh, it's also a business that's booming in Kenya. Let's talk about uh, Microsoft. Microsoft has opened offices in Nairobi, you know. The African Union, its headquarters is Nairobi. Yeah, we have like the insurance company, Britam, which is also uh, has one of the mo uh, tallest uh, skyscrapers in Nairobi. And it's doing the, its business in Nairobi very well. Yeah, We have many foreign like investors have invested in their business, or in hotel, in restaurant. So this uh, it's just a proof that, you know, like it's a good environment for you to come and invest. Um, like you, wa you want to know that is there anything that the Kenyan government is doing to address this issue? Yes, the Kenya government is putting on strict measures to ensure that actually corruption is minimized in the country. Uh, initiative has been placed to in improve security, you know, among other measures, you know. So people uh, who have actually uh, invested or are living in Kenya, many Americans who are living and investing in Kenya, actually they're experiencing some benefit. The benefit generally it's outweighing the challenges that are experienced. So this is from the rich culture or the rich cultural experience that Kenya has to offer that is just amazing to watch, to listen, to participate, you know, to be part of the wildlife migration, the amazing wildlife conservative that actually uh, blow, like it's a place, a good place to relax, you know, to actually get away from your daily stress, you know, after a very busy day, after a very busy weekday, there are wild animals, there are wild places actually to, for you to go and relax. The natural beauty of Kenya is just amazing, guys. And also the uh, unique uh, lifestyle that Kenya has to offer, the amazing food that Kenya has to offer as a country is just amazing for you to uh, just to to live there to experience it